Welcome back to the Barnsley Metrodome in the last 128. Richie Bennett in your picture there against Christoph Ratachki. And when you're analysing throws, what a throw this oh, guy has got. It's as if someone's putting electric shock in him on some of the darts he's thrown. And Christoph has been absolutely fantastic since winning the World Masters in 2017. 16. You row to a winner in 2019 in Gibraltar. So this has all the ingredients again for a fantastic match. I've seen Richie Burnett practicing on this board earlier yes. as they announced that this would be the stream board. And I often wondered if that flick that comes into his throw, that kick of the leg, only happens under match conditions. But let me assure you, even with practice what starts, he was continuing to kicking and flying all over. But what a player. When I was beginning to really enjoy my darts in the mid 2000s, there was an argument that this guy was the best player in the world. 36. And that includes the greatest of them all in Phil Taylor. He was playing that well. With Christoph, he'd be looking to get really back on track a little bit. And these are the kind of darts that took him right up to his career high. And it's a good start from him in this one. 140. And Richie Burnett, abundance of Welsh players that we have here at the Pro Tours today. And for Christoph on 161, he'll stay there. 85. And that gives him a two dart combination of 76. For Burnett, his two options for 146. He's gone the traditional treble 20 route. So now we'll be looking just to set up that leaves 66. So we'll be looking at treble 10 and he pings that. And that's 76, which was looking quite inviting. All of a sudden now becomes very, very difficult. And he won't yeah. like that first dart. <laughs> so it's a treble 19 will be his go-to dart. And what a dart that is for double eight. He composes himself as Richie looks on. 60. Just sort of, that was a little bit of a flyer. And for Burnett, it was all about that setup. And for a holder throw, double nine. Right across the other side of the board. He's got lucky there for a double two. And I think Christoph probably thought his fate was done at that point. But it's double eight for Ratajki. Game shot. And that'll settle him down as a 16 darter. But more importantly, a break of throw. So it's advantage to the pole in the very early stages of this game. And he loved that first start as Richie Burnett is clearly thinking about their missed doubles in the last game. 140. But keep your eye on uh, Richie when you stood behind here. If you're ever wondering what players are thinking, he doesn't hide. He wouldn't make a great poker player, would Richie? But he's been demonstrating some return to form. Whereas Christoph will be looking to get really back on track of exactly where he wants to be in this game. 100. Christopher reached the semi-final of the Players' Championships 4, which will be tomorrow, so he'll be Six. trying to retain them points minimum. But like you say, you're going to see more from Richie Burnett. One of my favourite players to watch, that's for sure. But I always felt there was ice running through the veins of Christoph Ratajki, that's for sure. As he pings that 180 there. And Burnett's a long way back already. Not going to be an awful lot of pressure on this 81. So Christoph doesn't have to do too much at this stage. He knows he's going to get a minimum of six darts. So you look at treble 10. And he'll just set this for a one dart finish. 49. And it's advantage Ratachki and his to lose in this very early stage for Burnett. He needs a couple of trebles. You just And they're well 41. thrown darts. They, and that's hence the reason of the response to him there because they were actually well thrown darts that could have been very easy a different score for Ratajki he ignores everything that Burnett is doing and it's double eight for 2-0 16 and Richie all the way back on 200 that's the perfect dart for him I said when you talk about poker players you won't get them sort of reaction from Christoph when I used to stand behind Christoph when he hit a win and double he would clench fist there's two darts just as he does there to demonstrate 
And it's quite a comfortable 2-0 lead for the pole at this stage. All right, Glenn, I thought I'd come and join you on comms for this one. Nice. I've been waiting for you. This has been a, a bucket list moment for me, sharing a room with Dan Dawson. Right. So welcome to the comms box. I've got very lucky so far, Dan. That first game was incredible. Gary Anderson, Josh well, Rock will live in the far. memory. It was absolutely beautiful to watch. Yeah, we had Danny Noppert kick things off on the other streaming board, looking to continue his winning run. Having picked up the title here in Barnsley last Sunday, seen both winners, of course, with Ryan Searle, who won on the Saturday, come through his opening game. But I was not passing up the opportunity to come and watch the Prince of Wales, Richie Burnett, nice who shot. it would appear it only took him two legs to go into full Burnett mode. We've got arms and legs flailing. We've got him arguing with the board, arguing with his own darts. It's magnificent. Oh, yes, the spinning bird kick, like Chun-Li from Street Fighter Two. I was just saying earlier, we had the pleasure of watching him practicing about uh, 11 o'clock this morning. And the kick, the kung fu kicks, the... Honestly, it was just so... It's not just in the match that he does it. It is absolutely part of his DNA in his throw right now. But I'm just saying he's one of the best players I've ever seen. In, in the early, mid-2000s, he was just arguably the 81. best player in the world. Uh, and that is... Well, I'm not even... <laughs> It's incredible, isn't it? That, and that's not hyperbole, is it? That is... Oh, hang about. He could stay there. To leave double 11 for a 3-0 lead. Oh, how would that have made you feel, Richie Burnett? Two options. 95. And like I said, these players are so aggressive. They know now that you need to be if you're going to stand tall in these players' Please championships. Shot. And what a finish that was. Went from kung fu kicks... I think that's the judo coming out of him now. Danielson. Well, that, you, to resume that point, it's not there hyperbole to say that 20 years ago, Richie Burnett was playing at a level consistently where it was a pretty good argument whether he or Phil Taylor or any of the other greats from that time, who the best in the world was. He was certainly in the discussion, wasn't he? I, I remember sitting at the time when I was uh, looking and assessing and look at this play, and it was a, it was a Gold Cup in, I think it was Granby well, Halls or somewhere like that in Stoke, and he just turned up in a scruffy shirt. Everyone was dressed, you know, in the dark and attire, and he had some scruffy tea, and he was absolutely damn magnificent. I mean, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Sam. Uh, and it didn't surprise me after that that he went on to win the World Championships, etc. But he was absolutely beautiful to watch. Funny to watch, but beautiful. Genuinely, 80. genuinely a hilarious man. Uh, you just saw that previous visit from Burnett, as we see that replay of Ratajski losing one from the board. Yes, sometimes the leg is kicking up round by his ear hole. But other times, it is really smooth, isn't it? it, it it's... It's incredible that you can play at any consistent level when there is so much going on on some visits and so little going on. The whole thing about this game, you do the same Six thing over and over again. And what's funny is the jiu-jitsu kick that comes into it is usually his best art. So sometimes it's smoothest ones. And then all of a sudden you think, where on earth is he going? I mean, this is bizarre, isn't it? It's like two different visits from two different players. But what Richie Burnett has done is give himself an opportunity to level this game up, having been 2 0 down. 60. Richie continues to get his steps in as he goes on a meander around the booth. 10 scored, yeah. 16 for tops. Is that the roots? It is the roots. And it's a successful route as well. It's a 15 data for Richie Burnett, who's back in this game. He's survived the dart for 3-0. <clears throat> Two apiece now. I think the replays are worth watching, that's for sure. And that one was just sort of a left jab, follow through right. So maybe that's his best out. But I was just highlighting the concerns for Christoph a little bit. You know, I've, I watched him at the Worlds this year, at the Masters, and I just think his game is not where it was right now. And it's, you know, people have got... 2023 as targets for various reasons and I think for Christoph he's you know he's going to be d defending money and it could be a, an interesting year and, well, and a name to sort of monitor to see how things are going for him but um, he doesn't seem to be the player he was a couple of years back. No and I think you can see that from 
his results, his averages, everything, every metric you want, you will see that Christoph Ratajski, I mean, the, the, the obvious one, he didn't win a title last year. And he'd been winning titles every year and often a number of titles. He was a more prolific title winner than somebody like Danny Noppert, who is a reigning major champion. Yeah, and when you stood behind him, he was just, you know, he, ice went through his veins. You know, he didn't give an awful lot away. And you, you knew you had to be on your best to beat him. And he's still got the 100 plus averages in him. He, you know, he highlighted and demonstrated that in the Euro qualifiers last week. So the game's there. But all of a sudden, when you start looking and you're defending points and other players are playing well around you, it can slowly sort of eat you up a little bit. But, and that's where the mindset sort of comes into it. That resilience, that understanding your game and your work ethic. You've got to really get back on the practice board and, and work twice as hard. So, yeah, interesting times for Christoph Ratajki. Well, he hit a 137 to leave 168. It's not the smartest board management. But he should leave himself pretty handily placed here. Well, this is going to be absolutely perfect as a setup. 136. Magnificent. And in the pro game, these types of finishes, these 83s, because you know Christoph's not going to miss 32. So you, f you feel like this bull that's coming up is a must hit for Bennett. 58. And so many players are pinging that 25. I don't think he was too bothered there looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks one just outside. Game shot. And then follows it with a second dart into the double. Christoph Ratajski just edges back into the lead at 3-2. I know I should be watching the darts right now, Dan, but I'm just watching Richie Burnett have a chat with the curtains. A meeting of minds, certainly. 180. Christoph Ratajski with a maximum. I mean, Glenn, look, you're the pundit, you're the player, you know. It's got to feel different. There are players here. You've seen what 59. Josh Rock, for example. Josh Rock is starting this year out, and he is... I want to be as good as I can be, and I don't know how good I can be, but it could be amazing. There are lots of players who are looking to do things for the first time, play better than they've ever played what? before. Christoph Ratajski, and indeed Richie Burnett to a certain extent, but Christoph Ratajski particularly, just wants to be as good as he was. He's not even trying to climb any new mountains. He just wants to get back to where he was. And I would imagine that that feeling can be 57. quite a difficult one to deal with because you don't you feel that you'll, you'll be terrified. I would imagine that your best is gone and it's not going to come back. Yeah, it feels like you're in a an 800 meter race and you're, you're sailing away after 400 meters, and then with 200 meters to go, the whole pack is catching you up. So you've got two options. What do you do? Do you cry about it and say, you know, woe is me and everything's going against me now, maybe my career's over? Or do you knuckle down and work hard and find that second wind? Because Christoph is still a young man. As he looks at treble 20 for tops. The game is still there for the Polish Eagle. That's absolutely for sure. And he's got that type of personality, Danning. I don't think he'll panic. I don't think he'll be looking too much at the stats. He'll just be... In my opinion, just getting back on the practice boy. He's got good people around him. He's an amazing person, Ratajka. When you're playing him on a TV tournament with 45 Switching. minutes to go, you're thinking, my player's not going to turn up. And in walks Christoph. And he walks in with his energy bar and then beats you up with 110 average. He's a very unique player, very quiet, very effective, very efficient in what he does. And um, I don't think he'd be panicking too much. But as a pundit, I'm just not seeing the Christoph Ritaski I saw two years ago. No, but I have to say, this particular performance is one of the most encouraging ones I've seen from him in a number of months because things do look quite smooth, certainly smoother than they have done. He is averaging over a ton, and he's constantly picking up those two treble visits. Never the biggest 180 hitter in the world, Christoph Ritaski, but he will two treble visit you into submission. Yeah, and I think when Dan talks about smooth, I think he's absolutely spot on. Just watch the point of release as he brings the dart back. So that's nothing's changed. Just there, I was seeing real concerns at the at Ali Pali and at the Masters. That definitely looks smoother right now. It's like a more of a seamless throw. And that reminds me of the throw that was there. I was beginning to have concerns where he was holding on to it. I even had a point where I was thinking, is he getting a bit of dart tight? It says, Burnett looks for 161. 136. From absolutely nowhere. And Christoph Ritaski, if he's going to highlight the fact that he is back playing really well, these are the types of finish he used to swallow up. Well, he doesn't swallow that one up, but... 40. Burnett 
didn't get a chance to come back and finish up the 25 when he missed the ball a couple of legs ago. He does this time, but can he complete it? Yeah, yes, he can. 14 data. Richie Burnett still in this game. And without repeating myself in previous games, there's that 25 finish again. The Damon had a Dimitri Vandenberg game. Albeit they've both gone out first what round. What a game. Ross Smith, Damon Hetter, and Bradley Brooks. I am absolutely done, delighted for him because hopefully I'm not talking out of turn, but he was really down in the dumps over Christmas. I mean, even to the stage where I picked up a phone and, you know, tried to ring him, etc. And I'm absolutely over the moon for him because he's coming through it. He had a great weekend last weekend. I messaged 99. him this morning and I said, you know, hopefully you have another great weekend this week. And over the moon for him yeah well he's a young player there's going to be ups and downs it's not always going to be a a seamless 104 storming to the top of the rankings but bradley brooks big win against dimitri vandenberg not the highest quality but a win's a win christoph ratajski 108 inching closer to a victory himself that is a fourth maximum for the polish eagle jamie hughes leading 5-1 this week 10 grand he won last year, uh, last weekend, compared to the 22,000 he won in the total of 2022 in the Pro 2. It just shows you what one fantastic weekend can do. As Ritashki looks at this 87, so yes. he'll be looking at treble 20 for double five or 20 for the bull. And I was going to say, I bet he gets the 25 because I think I've watched that type of finish today 20 times and 19 of it is ended in the 25. Burnett has a chance for parity. Got the double 19 earlier in the game Ooh. and gets it again. He's looking absolutely deadly on that particular one. And for the second time in this match, Richie Burnett has come from two legs behind to level. But can he go into the lead for the first time in this astonishingly interesting clash of styles between the dead-eyed Christoph Ratajski and the mad gurning Welshman <laughs> Richie Burnett I've just wrote the mad <laughs> mad gurning Welshman he's great to watch fantastic 59 your mate Jim Williams starting well today picking up a 6-1 win I think that's just been completed, yes. 104 average. Yes. 134. I, I messaged him quite simply last week, when did you get so good? And as he wrote back, I actually threw away a couple of scrappy games, Glenn, but i tell you what was big for him, the invite for James Hurrell. Sometimes you just need that dance partner with you, as Richie Burnett smacks in another max. And to have someone like James Hurrell and Jamie Hughes together as a threesome like that, they will bounce off each other. And it's no surprise to me that Hurrell Williams, and it's looking like Jamie Hughes as well, going through to the last 64. Yes, James Hurrell, a 6-5 winner against Ian White. 89 average from the hill, Billy, but he's played some excellent stuff in the last few 60. weeks on the Challenge Tour. As I think Richie Burnett goes down in instalments before getting his darts. <laughs> I think he's applying for a role in the World Seniors. That's if he's going to get his walking stick out next, well, you can have my place, Richie. 91. There he is. <laughs> hey. Richie Burnett getting low, 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 low. What we could do with some music on that one, couldn't we? I'm sure that can get on social media Anyone. somewhere. But he's absolutely playing brilliant when he when he flings them all over they're just going in there the man's averaging mid to high 90s here but christoph ratajski this is big oh couldn't get another one in there to leave double eight now he will leave tops 96. richie burnett one two one to go into the lead for the first time in this game i did say the bull hasn't been hit in this game yet I did say, 96. 25, I think, again, he says. Well, I'll tell you, Richie, it's happened in the other two games as well. There's a magnet in that 25. Ritachi is open, there's a magnet in this top, so that's not sat perfect. And neither is that, that is two well-thrown darts. This is not a nice dart. But there that is, shot. that is, I think it went off the flight, the tungsten, and Richie Burnett's right leg. But it found its way there. And Richie oh. Burnett calmly and astutely just stands behind and concentrates. I think. His step counter must be going absolutely mad. 
think this is the first time I've ever watched a match where I'm watching the non-throwing player. I thought he was going to attack the table. I thought he was going to get a severe booting there at the minute. I mean, that last dart from Ratajski is brilliant. The outcome is brilliant. I genuinely don't know if that's what he was aiming to do. It looked like he got a little bit fortunate with the deflection. He probably was aiming for that section of the double top. So hats off to him. You've got to give him credit for it. But if you've got darts like that and they are blocking it, you, you kind of throw it in hope more than expectation, aren't you, Glenn? Absolutely. And what he'd be thinking right now 96. is maybe this game is mine for the winning. Maybe the gods are on my side. Um, but he didn't have an awful lot to aim for because the way his darts sit, there wasn't much in the bed and it rattled off the tungsten. It rattled off the fly, but it went in. And Richie Burnett. Three scored. I'm saying nothing. I'll leave it to him. Well, I'm not sure what Richie said there, but I think we can all glean the general gist of it. What happens when you do it? All you hear then is the 180 of Christoph Tatchkin. It's Christoph's to lose right now, and he'll be absolutely delighted to get through this game, that's for sure. 100. Well, Richie Burnett has entertained, played some excellent darts, walked about six and a half miles and done an entire aerobics class during the course of this 10 legs, but it doesn't look like he's going to get any money at the end of it because Christoph Ratajski's put in 60. one of his best displays that we've seen in months in a, a ranking event. Yeah, over 103 average here for Christoph, which is absolutely fantastic. 85. I mean, Richie, with all, despite all the histrionics, is averaging just shy of 97. It's been a phenomenal game. I've been spoilt on this board today, that's for sure. But it's tops for the pull. 52. Match start missed, but he will get more. Richie Bennett to at least give us something to remember you by as if you haven't given us plenty already in the last nine and a half legs. 55. I'm trying to remember my Strictly Come Dancing. I thought he was going to give us a dozy door there as Ratachki goes for double ten. That's his marker. Not even further away. No score. Well, all of a sudden, that visit of 55 from Burnett will be even more annoying for him. Although, I have to say, he's been very good on double 19, hasn't he? Good point. He, has, he hasn't been bad on treble 20. Oh. Well, you kind of fancied him having hit double 19 twice already in this match, and it would have flipped this round entirely. It could yet flip if Ratajski misses double 10 again. But he doesn't this time around. Christoph Ratajski wins a hugely entertaining game. It was the Borg McEnroe of the dartboard, this one. <laughs> Richie Burnett has got plenty to say to Andrew Davis, who doesn't seem to offer much back. He probably has no idea what's just gone on over the last 10 legs. But it was magnificent. Ratajski wins it by six legs to four with an average over 100. Despite 14 missed darts at double, it is one of the best displays from Ratajski that we've seen in a while. If the Polish Eagle is back, then we have got a serious contender for the title today.